There we go. Very standard, not crazy. I'm gonna cover the the QR code so it's like you know. Even with the with the triple, see that? I'm painting over it. Same thing. I can paint. Same thing. I I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god! All right. I don't know if you guys can tell. They tape over the cigar leaf. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're reviewing the DBL 35th Anniversary Master Blenders Limited Edition. Okay, and this cigar is six and a quarter by fifty-six. Box pressed. Let's take it out. Take a look. There we go. There we go. So you can see, very soft um, wrapper. There's like a QR code in the back, and the typical DBL. Um, Decoration. I don't like the how 35 is wrapped on the side. So if you don't look at it, it's just like anniversary, right? Uh, on the bottom, again, useless band right here. But I guess it fits the theme a little bit. You can tell that whoever glued the cap did not do a very well job because this side is not completely glued down. So you just had to cut it very carefully. So uh, information on this basically celebrate 35th anniversary of the cigar industry. Uh, and the rapper is Ecuadorian Cameroon. Again, try that again. <laughs> Ecuadorian Cameroon Sangrone. Binder is Dominican, Filo Dominican, and it includes Piolo Cubano. So let's give it a try. They consider this as a Toro box pressed. I'm gonna take this off. It's kind of weird because they. they Ah, how stupid can you be? Oh my god. All right, I gotta be very careful with this. Why will you tape over the cigar leaf? The cigar wrapper? All right, oh my god. Uh, this part maybe had to be cut, but. Let's we'll see. I'm trying. I'm trying hard to kind of get this without damaging the leaf too much. But that's not a good start. There we go. I kind of got it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I ended up having to rip this apart in three pieces. There we go. Three pieces. Three pieces. All right. So let's get started on that. Get a cutter and cut the cap. So it's okay. Cedar chocolate. Cedar chocolate on a dry draw. All right. Here's the thing. I saw a video, somebody was talking about, I guess they were advertising the single torch cigar the lighter and said that you can paint your cigar with the lighter. I looked at it, I was like, what are you talking about? Cause you can do that even with the, with the triple. See that? I'm painting over it, same thing. I can paint, same thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You can do it with anything that has that that is a, is a torch lighter because the the ends are sharp. The ends are sharp. I can paint. I can paint. So I I mean I actually think that yeah you can touch out with the single torch, but you can touch out with that too. I mean the strength is up to you, right? 
So if I even if I take an even bigger lighter, of course I gotta find a bigger lighter. Now that I thought about it to talk about it. As long as the tip is sharp enough that you adjust it to, you can paint any cigar. See, you can touch up any cigar. You can do that, you can do far. Far. It's hard to match it to the camera, but you can do far. It's it's still doing that. You see that? I don't understand. I mean that's that makes no sense. I mean, you can adjust it down, you can adjust it up. The, the heavier you adjust, the sharper the tip is going to be. You can do the same thing. Like right now, I have a little bit I can touch up. Of course, I still use this to touch up, kind of. Right? You can still do. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So, and today is a little bit different. I got a coffee for myself. This is a whiskey flavored coffee. Um, so yeah. Whiskey barrel. Oh yeah, it actually tastes like whiskey. Okay, it's like a coffee and it has this Closer to a sweet whiskey bourbon barrel taste. Cigar. Cedar. Um. What? What? Cedar, dry wood, cinnamon, chocolate. I'm not even going to count coffee because I'm drinking coffee that might be from that coffee. And... Yeast? Fermentation? Yeast? Some sort of thing? And a little bit of damp wood. Slash star anise. I think that's what's going on with this cigar right now. It's not bad. By the way, this is by Francisco Amante. This is on the band. While I'm reading it. Um, what other information? This is about a $10 cigar. $10 for this big? You can't really complain other than, you know, unless this thing tastes really bad. But so far, the flavor is interesting. The build constructions are okay. Just I hate it that they taped it over the wrapper. And... So in that case, I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna enjoy my evening until the one third, and then I'll come back and we talk about it some more. So I've been smoking the cigar, and the first third is relatively just cedar and this white pepper that wanna be spicy but wasn't spicy. Uh, I'm not saying that it's not enjoyable. It's quite okay if you just wanna kind of relax the cigar. It has some flavor and the flavor is just enough um for me i'm not gonna complain about pepper that's not spicy because i'm okay with not spicy retro hill definitely makes that aroma much better you get a little bit more spice uh not spicy spice but like baking spice a little bit more of that a little bit more of an in-depth flavor so so far so good for like ten dollar cigar at this point I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just gonna smoke through the second third and we'll see if the flavor improves um, other than this thing going out at me. It already went out at me one time. We'll see if uh, that fixes itself. Be right back. All right, so two third, last third. Uh, you know, honestly, at this point, it feels like a very normal cigar. I didn't feel like anything particular, cedar, a little bit of like you know fermented flavor a little bit of chocolate here and there uh it doesn't burn or anything it's kind of smooth um it does want to go out on me all the time uh, definitely requires some retro hill to get that flavor really but 
It does taste like a ten dollar cigar. It's a very normal premium cigar. I I, I cannot point out anything specifically that makes this thing feels like a 35 year anniversary special cigar but at the same time they're not charging you arm and legs so you can't really complain it does taste good it does taste good but retro hell is needed and i have to keep relit it i don't know why I mean, I think if you rush your hair enough, you still taste a little bit of that white pepper. And that's pretty much it. Maybe a little bit of creaminess here and there. That's pretty much it. Not not crazy. I think it was very like standard cigar. So. Yeah, let's finish this up and go to the summary. I, I finished it up. I actually changed it to a soda. Uh, because I wanted to see if there is a coffee flavor in here. There isn't, but it did. Like the last third got a little bit more floral, a little bit more sweeter. So the last third was better than, I guess, the second third. But it just tastes like a $10 cigar. It's like a very normal cigar. It's not that interesting, but it's not a bad cigar. So yeah, I mean, $10, I can see it. I can see that's $10 cigar. Um, but I do feel like there are other $10 cigar. That may be more interesting, but if you like the brand, it wouldn't bother you. So yeah, the cigar I can recommend. I can re recommend the cigar for people who um, just want a standard ten dollar cigar, and then that's in the place, or maybe they're on sale or whatever. Definitely a cigar that you can smoke, and th there's not much you can talk about that. However, we could talk about the band. Let's um let's see if that will focus. Would you focus please? Would you focus? No, you won't focus. Alright, fine, we'll do it this way. There we go. Very standard, not crazy. I'm gonna cover the, the QR code so it's like nah. There was a QR code on it, I guess it goes to their website. Very standard um band, I don't think it's anything particular, and it's not really fully embossed. There are a little bit of texture on the coin part, the, the emblem part, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, nothing crazy, $10 cigar, it is what it is. Go try one if you got 10 bucks. <laughs> it's not crazy cigar for sure. So yeah, that's it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment on below on your experience if you do smoke the cigar. Let me know if you do taste anything different, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.